this shop has been my lifelong dream since I was six years old. At the age of six, Sherry Pete knew she wanted her own business. I used to sit on the street, on the curb out by the street in front of our house and crush ice in a dish, my mom's dish rags with a hammer and put, make snowball syrup and put it on top of snow cones on, you know, on the street corner right in front of our house. What you got, Betty? Now she sells snow cones and sandwiches in Venice, Louisiana. It's a small shop right next to her house, but it's all hers. Her husband is a commercial fisherman, and between the halt on commercial fishing and the lack of tourists to eat at her shop, Sherry prays every day just to hang on. Cheeseburger fries. You lived your life and you made plans, you know, and you did your things, but today you can't make plans because you don't know how long you're going to have an income, and you can't count on BP. That's what Nat Alario is starting to realize. He's an out-of-work shrimper now helping with the spill. But since Tropical Storm Bonnie, he's been on standby, waiting for a call from BP. We, we need the work. If we can't shrimp, we need the work. We need to we need we need uh, provide for our family. He's one of many waiting on the docks. With talks of less oil on the surface, Nat wonders if the cleanup effort is starting to scale back. He hopes not, because until the waters are open to shrimp again, he's depending on that money from BP. All we want is a fair chance. That's all we want. We want to be able to work. If, if, if we was messed up by the spill, we want to be able to work and clean it up. Typically, in the middle of the day, the Venice Marina is empty, but nowadays it's full. All these boats lined up are part of the Vessel of Opportunity program, and they're not taking any new applications into the program. Retired Coast Guard Admiral Thad Allen said they're just trying to figure out what to do with the boats they already have. And although people like Nat and Sherry would rather have the spill cleaned up and BP gone, they only want their lives back if that means getting their jobs back. I don't think there is anything that can ever make it right. Not till we have our waterways back, our seafood, our weekend fishermen, the joy back in our lives. In Venice, Louisiana, Bonnie Ghosh, The Associated Press.